<laughs> Pigeons! <laughs> I need to learn how to. You film, don't film me yet. Tell us what it is, babe. I don't know what it is. It's the Fay Gate, but I'm probably going to have said. Hey guys, and welcome back to Live Lemons Travel. We're Kit and Lee. We previously drove our car camper from the Arctic Circle to Croatia, but this time we're backpacking Asia with budget at the very core of our travels. Enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> right, one second mate, because I think he's over here. Oh, right, okay. Oh, this is him here, look. How's he gonna get up? It's okay, thank you. <laughs> Well, we're cutting it a bit fine, but we're just on the way to catch our bus to Chiang Mai, which is... We're cutting it really fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally just said Oh, that. sorry. <laughs> no, it's alright. Just guys, turned up in a little swift down this tiny little back street. I can't believe he's come this close. Normally we have to walk a little way to get to our driver. So yeah, we're just um, in the back of the taxi and the app is saying our arrival time at the bus station is five minutes after our bus departs. <laughs> So we've just said to the driver, can you take like the expressway or the quickest way? So hopefully, fingers crossed, he's going to pull one out of the bag for us. Yeah, we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> you can tell by Kit's face. <laughs> oh dear. Well, 17 minutes passed. Well, we've got it. Look, it looks like they might let us on seeing as some people are just getting on now. But it did say we must arrive 30 minutes before on Lee's email, so we were scared. The taxi driver's done a solid there, considering the clock said we were going to be there at 25 too. So. I Really, and I feel really bad for the, uh, the taxi man, he was quite stressed out. So. Yeah, bless him. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. How many bags? Uh, two, two, two each. Two each. Uh -huh. Yes, pull the number. This is just uh, under, uh -huh. at the bottom, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, keep it. This is important, I think. This way. Open cab. <laughs> Baby, don't know what you said about this. Okay. We're going on this one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's this one. About the bag and the destination. Okay. This looks nice. It does look nice. <laughs> this looks alright. Yeah, it looks alright. We've got a little overhead uh, storage cabin things, just like an aeroplane. Got a stewardess. <laughs> it's such a narrow out here. Oh, babe, we've got... Oh, guys, this is really nice. I think there's less than half the amount of seats that you would normally have on a coach. I don't know if you can see, but look at all this leg room down here. Like my feet aren't even, my legs aren't even long enough to touch the end. That's amazing. Would you like anything to go in the overhead locker, my dear? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good for now. I want all the snacks to stay with me, actually. Okay, of course you do. Um, we've got a little TV screen. I have read okay. on the reviews that a lot of the time these don't work, so we're... Awesome. Lee's seems all right. <laughs> we, picked the, uh, we picked the back two seats as well, thinking, because on the like the seat layout, it looked like there was more space, which... Yeah. There is a bit of space, not that we're going to be doing lots of... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's because I thought if we were, weren't at the back, then our seats would recline onto people, and I really hate feeling like... I've 
annoyed someone by doing that so I was like oh let's get the back seats and then we can go all the way back but to be honest they're already reclined I don't think we can lose them you know what this wasn't like the best bus we could have got 15 this pounds this was each. gold yeah so i think above this was vip and that corn chai air uh, 15 pounds each gold class yeah it's a 10 hour bus it gets us there about half past four in the morning and i think the most expensive one was maybe 20. i'm really happy and these seats are really comfortable i think we're going to get some sleep and we've just seen on the tickets on the way here the taxi that we get juice oh, milk water boxed food <laughs> and a snack i think so, yeah, we get like Fox a... food, I'm excited to see what that is. It's like a road, an air hostess, a uh, road hostess. <laughs> road hostess. Yeah. You make it sound like an air hostess yeah. wearing Nike and North Face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the aisle down the coach though is like so narrow, I'll show you. <laughs> Put it this way, I couldn't walk through forwards because of my big booty. I had to sidestep all the way up. Pretty sure I ponked someone on the head a few times as well with the bags I was carrying. Oh so. my god. <laughs> Here's my little TV screen. I'm sure 20 minutes in, Kit's going to be catching flies, so... <laughs> have to excuse me if I say this wrong but we're at the eastern gate which is the Tafei gate of Chiang Mai so this is like the main entrance to the old walled town as you can see so what I've learned about Chiang Mai since we got here last night uh, sorry yesterday morning is that the old city is within these fort walls you can do all of it by foot it's a pretty big space but you can explore by foot we have just stepped outside of the old city fort walls, which you can see behind us. As Lee said, this is the main gate. The Tarfe Gate. Tarfe Gate. So today, we typed in old city temples onto Google Maps. It came up with what we could count about 20 different temples. If you put that into Google, Google will actually tell you that there's over 300 temples which we're not going to get around. I'm not even going to attempt to do 300. <laughs> we thought it might be a nice way to explore the city and see those 20, well, explore the old town and see those 20 whatever, temples. Whatever we can possibly get around, because they're dotted all over, so it gives us exercise. We've done two already, and it's about 33 degrees, and we're already thinking it's... It's going to be hard to get around the mall. It's going to be a challenge. It doesn't feel quite as hot as Bangkok. Yeah, but I think it is hotter. We'll see how we get on. I almost forgot to say, surrounding the Chiang Mai old city as well as this like old fort wall is a moat. It looks really, really cool on the map, I'll show you. Now that we've come out of Tarfe Gate, you can see part of the moat here. I didn't know any of this until we got here yesterday. Really cool. So keep exploring. <laughs> Pigeons! <laughs> So we're currently at... Cool, cool Muang. 
Paul Muang. Yeah. What have you got there? It's a coffee shop, but we decided to have a cold drink, like a peach kombucha soda something. Yeah. yeah. It's a really cool place to chill, isn't it, by the looks it is, of it? Yeah. Oh, there's like sofas in there, that's cool. You pick papers, you know I'd happily be outside. Yeah, outside's good for me. Shall we sit up here? Really pretty. So when we first arrived um, at our accommodation in Chiang Mai yesterday, we met this Chilean lad and he basically described a square in Chiang Mai where there was loads of like bars around the outside and clubs and stuff. And he found this place on the map, didn't you? Yeah, which is essentially on our road, but the other way to which he pointed. Yeah, yeah. We think that we're here, but during the daytime while everything's closed. So we might check it out at night. Yeah. It looks like it's potentially going to be a night market. Craft, beer, sports, it's in the game. They absolutely love their Christmas decorations. Like, there's so many Christmas decorations that have been left up. I mean, maybe they're just multi-purpose decks, but we always associate tinsel with Christmas, don't we? You know what, it, it might just be a sensible use of time, because how much do you think the average family over the course of year spends taking down <laughs> and putting up decorations? That's so true, why don't you just leave them up all year? Because if it's anything like my mum, sorry mum, it's probably like, it's like a job over a course of a week, isn't it? It takes uh, to get everything a, ready. It's a big thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, you do a great job, by the way, mum, just saying. Also, people really enjoy it, <laughs> putting decks yeah. up. Yeah. And actually getting them down again, because then your house looks like it's got loads of space in it all of a sudden. I enjoy them being up, but just not the effort it takes to put them up. <laughs> oh no, I love putting them up. Maybe it's a girl thing, I don't know. But yeah, I've seen so many Christmas decorations. Elephant on there as well. Six months in prison. Uh, drinking alcohol in the temple zone. Wow, good to know. Yeah. What is that? Six months in prison, ten thousand baht fine, or both. Oh, okay. Can you hold on without a drink for a few minutes, yeah? <laughs> this tree's pretty. You think I have to have my legs covered? Yeah. Nah, I think you'd be Not okay. for the outside bit. I can see other people's knees showing. Yeah. I think it's if you're going inside, you're okay. It's... Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Beautiful. It's a big old Buddha. We've just come across an area on the right hand corner of the old city. It's kind of got like quite a few temples all together. Like there's this huge one behind me and just in front of me. This is so beautiful. It's got like the kind of the gold plated roof and then like elephant figures all around the outside. Definitely looks so much older than the others that we've seen, but it's so, so pretty.
Hi guys. So tonight is Sunday night in Chiang Mai and it's the biggest night market of the week. So Lee is there already. As you can see, it's kind of just after sunset. The colours are absolutely beautiful, so he wanted to get there a little bit earlier and go take some photos. I'm a little bit late out because I've been prioritising YouTube editing today. The YouTube that I've been editing today is actually just our second YouTube of our backpacking series. Obviously you won't see this till quite a few weeks after, but me and Lee are really happy because we've released our first YouTube vlog and it's hit a thousand views in the first six days, which sounds like a really tiny win and it is, but it's big for us. Another thing that I've been trying to do today is try and call my dad. I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but my dad is the only person that I know, not even my grandparents, who doesn't have a phone that has Wi-Fi or data or anything. It's literally one of those little Nokia 3210s that are from the 90s. So trying to call him and get in touch with him is actually really difficult. So we email sometimes. I don't know which way I'm going. But yeah, I've been trying to find a way to speak to him. I thought I'd found a way. But actually it's just eating up this five pound data cap thing I've got on my normal UK account. Now what I'd really like to do is find a Thai sim that has international calls on it. I thought it'd be really easy but I haven't seen one yet and just a bit frustrated because I miss him. Hi guys, as you're already aware this video is published eight weeks after the filming date so I've now found a way to call my dinosaur dad from Asia. I can't recommend Yala enough. I've put all the information in the description below this video. But yeah, anyway, I need to get my map up so I can try and find Lee. I don't know where I am now. We decided that before we came away, we would download this app. We've got Life360. So basically we've got each other on tracker. If we do want to go off separately, which we do quite a lot actually, we're not the kind of couple that stays together all the time wherever we go like sometimes I'll go for a coffee sometimes Leo will go and do photography so this way I know exactly where he is so it means I don't get lost because I get lost very easily that's how I'm finding him something tells me that I am in the right place. <laughs> ages I've wondered what mochi is. This is blueberry jam flavour. It cost about 20p. Yeah, 10 baht. Yeah. 10 baht. So now we're going to try it. Kit's been harping on to me about this, so... It's like a weird texture. Oh, there's stuff inside it. Mm. Oh, it feels like a bean bag. <laughs> it's like sweet bubblegum dough. Oh, so weird. Mmm. Look nice. Mm. But when you hold it, it literally feels like a bean bag. Oh my god. Have a bit more? Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Wow. I can, That's see, cool. I can see what the hype's about now. That's so weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How much is this one? 60 baht. 60 baht, and we've got two spring rolls and five. Was it like fried bread with pork mince? So yeah, let's give these all of these a go. I'm using these as chopsticks, but they're actually just uh, skewers. <laughs> well. Oh, 
Look what we found. <laughs> what have you found? <laughs> no, Kit definitely spotted these, but I'm not going to argue with her. Look how good these look. Do you want one? Is that, that's a silly question, isn't it? <laughs> So brownies or brownies cheesecake is the question. Uh, I think it would always be brownie, but I think the cheesecake looks more appetising on this occasion. Mm -hmm. Gotta do the all important taste test. Are you interested in me with this challenge kit? Of course. Oh, look at that. You are the only man for the job. Wow. Wow. Good. That's damn good. <laughs> does it taste Where's like home or does it taste like foreign sweet? Where's yours? <laughs> uh, tastes like home. Honestly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've got four pieces of sushi for 40 baht, so about a quid. Lee's got two octopus ones. And I think I've got two salmon ones, but I wasn't sure. No worries. No, thank you. Yes. I couldn't quite do it. <laughs> really good though. I mean, I love seafood, so. Um, this will be what flavour did you choose? It's just Thai milk tea. Oh, so this is a Thai milk tea, which I've seen signs for everywhere. We're going to share our first one. I have no idea what it tastes like. So it's something that I've read about in a blog. Another um, culinary experience for us. Yeah, something I read about in a blog. So I saw the sign for it. And I thought, hey, why not? Let's try it. We've had quite a few different things tonight haven't we along the market there's just like little food stands everywhere so left right and center you're just like oh that looks good that looks nice <laughs> try it no you do the honors oh wow it's really good you bend it my way <laughs> Lee, that's what the orange thing is in 7-eleven oh yeah it is. that is nice you know what it's got actually a really nice tea flavour, hasn't it? Yeah, so it tastes of tea with loads of sugar and it's cold with ice. And it's got like a, f a fragrant, is that the right word? I know it might sound a bit silly to say that it tastes of tea because it's got Thai milk tea, but... But it, I, you can actually taste the tea. When you look at the colour of it, you just think it's going to be something completely wacky, don't you? Oh, that's what it is in 7-Eleven, babe. You know what? If I'm going to liken it to anything, this is going to sound really weird. But it's like a tea flavour with. Can you remember the Milky Bar yogurts? Yeah. Basically, tea with Milky Bar yogurt is what it tastes like to me. Yeah. Hi, guys. Good evening, team. So, we have just spent the evening walking through the Tarfe Gate Walking Street Market in Chiang Mai, which is the biggest market, I believe. And it's every Sunday night. Yeah, it's the biggest market in Chiang Mai. It is absolutely huge. Like, yeah. it's, I was blown away at how big it was. There are two walking street markets. There's one on a Saturday, which is the Wu Lei, Wu Lai walking street Something market. Something like that, yeah. Sorry, don't pull me up for my pronunciation. There's that on the Saturday night, and then the Tafe on the Sunday night, which is the yeah. This one's much bigger of the two. Absolute endless amount of clothing stores. Live music. Food. Drinks. Drinks, you know, loads of homemade. Housey stores. Yeah, yeah, sculptures. <laughs> Anything. Whatever, whatever you can think of, it's here, basically. It's a really, really good market. I saw so many things that I loved. <laughs> yeah. I have to keep her on a very short leash. It was hard. <laughs> Honestly, could have spent, we have spent a long time walking around tonight, but there's loads of little offshoots. The main street is absolutely crammed with market stalls. Just a beautiful setting as well, yeah. being able to see the temples when you walk around and I guess the streets are really like lit up and clean. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. My feet are aching a little bit now, so I think it's time to sit down and grab a beer. 